Coming in, Leonard, I gotta take a dump. Right, you don't wanna take a dump in there. Why? You take a shit in there, I can't yeah. take a shit in there? It's not disgusting. I'll just lean up against the side of the house then and take a dump. That bad? What it, that is the way that you just beware of attack you got attack dogs here? This is your shit box, huh? <laughs> Actually How many nights have you crashed on this fucking thing? A lot of times when I if the air conditioner goes on. You got a brand new bike and now you're just gonna fucking throw it on the floor. <coughs> Here I got you. Jesus Christ. You alright, man? No, it says painkillers that the cookie cutters <laughs> they live on and I take it one time, I don't know where the hell I am. Yeah, you got hit by that by that car, man. What the fuck? How, how the fuck does anybody hit your big ass? Some fucking idiot. Why should I have to pay? I don't think I should have to pay. I don't have a job, she said, told the officer. I shouldn't have to pay that ticket. She got the ticket. Oh, yeah. But I shouldn't have to pay because I don't have a job. That's it. Well, she shouldn't be driving a fucking car then. Yeah, two kids in the back. Nice new bike, though. What happened? She should smash your bike, huh? Yeah, smash me on the side. Hopefully the cops give you that footage. Yeah. Uh, it would be fucking great watching her fucking slam into you. Go but you know what? Christina did pull me up. Oh, for, for a mill of the sake. It, it always comes back to her. What is the matter with you? Just leave the fucking thing. Where, why are you locking it up? We're here. Nobody's coming to take it. You, you don't live in that bad of a neighborhood. Well, I did have it stolen once off this patio. Before they built that fence, these kids used to dirt bike. And I suspect when they were riding their dirt bikes here, they spotted it unlocked. So I did have one stolen off right up here. So that's all you got from that fucking accident? Your hip is fucked up too, right? Well, I don't take your... Oh, 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 oh. Man, that's a nice size bruise, actually. You're so willing to just fucking drop your pants anywhere, you pig. I'm coming into the fucking dungeon. Brad, I don't want Chris... The only thing is, I don't want Christina to see this. Oh, boy. She might feel... <laughs> What do you have, the fucking Hillary Clinton dolls in a compromising no, position in there? <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> All right. We'll leave it up to the viewers to wonder what it looks like in this fucking shithole. You don't want to know. No. It would look I'm, a lot better. Oh, like, I'm not recording that. No fucking. It would fucking look a lot better if I cleaned it. Oh, my God. It stinks, too, man. You see all my vitamins? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I didn't take the garbage. You live like a fucking. Oh, you might as well live on the street. Leonard, this is disgusting. Yeah, it is. It's low maintenance. No wonder girls don't even want to come in here. Any <laughs> I'm going to film it, fuck it. If, Andrew, if you tell Andrew to edit it out, I will, but i got to put a gag over my fucking nose. Brad, don't do it. Leonard, are you <laughs> fucking kidding me, man? <coughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know where the state's coming from. You don't know where the stink's coming from? <laughs> Probably from all the shit everywhere, you fucking... <laughs> Holy fuck! I think this place is worse than Jason's. <laughs> Leonard, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not taking a shit in there. Oh my god. I'd rather shit in my pants. <laughs> what the fuck, man? How do you live? Christine, I don't live here. Oh, God damn. I think I'm going to pass out from that stench. It's like, it's like smelling salt. Well, there's a lot of sweaty gym clothes that need to be washed, all that ammonia. Well, fuck's sake, Leonard. What? It's low maintenance. Look. What do you mean low clean maintenance? Clean clothes here. You can take, take a tour of the bedroom while you're at it. Oh, my fucking God. I feel like I'm in a, in a fucking Tarantino movie. I'm going to get fucking... Jesus. I got my CPAP reading machine. Like Jay Masters. Everything you could ever want. Good God. You still got VHS? Those are, oh, those are all the porn tapes, aren't they? No, no, there's no porn in the house. Oh my fucking God. You just have, you just like track shit through your house, Leonard. There's one of my old Haitian. Look at this fucking animal. You really are a fucking animal. <laughs> It's one of my old Haitian girls. Oh. <laughs> I think only a Haitian could fucking bear the smell. God damn it. I'm, I'm fucking out of here, dude. Hurry your ass up. I shouldn't even let you sit in my car, you fucking... What do you have to do? Let's see. Just grab a few clothes. 
grab us some money in case we have to go eat. Leonard's Dungeon. Do you own a fucking mop? I don't even feel it. I said, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I gotta get out of here. That's a, that's a good acting. Oh, uh, no, man. I'm gagging. Hurry up. He sees it, doesn't he? <sighs> Christina's not gonna see it. You, you better hope Christina won't see that. I, she is watching. I know she is. Oh, she's not. Yes, yeah, she is. It always goes back to her. Well, let me tell you something. You got no chance of ever having her uh, enter that fucking dungeon that I well, just I hope she into. doesn't. I swear to God, I'm fucking sick. I feel sick. Can you buckle your seatbelt, you fucking pig? <laughs> How the, I, and I just, I can't, I don't understand it, man. It's very simple. You're fucking lazy. You and Jason are both very lazy simple. fucking pigs. I live by the road. Your house is worse than fucking Jason's. I guarantee it. But he's got a maid that comes over there, I think. I mean, I do the dishes day. and all. Occasionally I'll clean it's too bad, but what's the point? I mean, what's the fucking point? So you don't live in filth and st Well, I, I want to live in get... filth. Like I said, it's part of my training philosophy. <sighs> I don't ever want to get comfortable there. I don't ever say, hey, life is good. I don't know if I can ever get that smell out of my <laughs> fucking nose. God damn. <laughs> you are a fucking real life ogre. Fucking ogre. Well, it always wasn't like that, but I, I come to the point to say, the cookie cutters are always cleaning and using their little Swiffer vacuums and buy all the little crappy cleaning crap. I mean, I'll clean if necessary, but like I said, why should I? When I could be taking a nap and growing muscle. Oh my God. With my you spare see. time. <laughs> I, I just. It always is, is if you can. say to you. If you can, you need to be eating or sleeping. Sick, if you can sick get away with doing nothing but eat and sleep, that's the bigger you're going to get. Yeah, but you shouldn't live in filth, man. I mean, that's like, it's not even, that can't, can't be comfortable. It is. <sighs> you you belong in a fucking zoo, no doubt. Well, you know, I don't spend much time at home. I go there to eat and sleep. It looks like you spend a lot of time there. Nah, you know me, I'm always out of the house on only day off. Well, um, I guess the rats occupy it then when you're not there. Cause Never Jesus seen one. Christ. No, they probably walk in there and fucking drop <laughs> dead. <laughs> That's why you don't have any bugs. They don't even want to live there. <laughs> That's a good point. Jesus Christ. That's a good point. Now that I'm just fucking totally disturbed, I think I'll have a decent workout. <laughs> this traffic is fucking all these fucking snowbirds between the snowbirds the fucking Haitians and old people We're we're just fucked up the rehabbers. Right? Yeah, they don't know what the fuck they're well, doing. I like what Trump did that was great wasn't it? What did Trump do? Outlawed all those fuckers from coming in for three months and they're all crying at the airport For three months that's it from seven countries Jordan Syria Iraq Iran and so I'm all upset now because Iraq said in response they're going to cut off the American visas. Ooh, too big deal. Oh, I don't even know what to say to you anymore. I just can't. I still can't get over how fucking disgusting your place is. <laughs> no wonder why you never get any pussy. No oh. chick. You try to bring a chick in there. Oh, that's the whole idea, even a, Brad. I don't even think you'd be able to fuck a train. That's the whole idea, Brad. What? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, don't don't bring anybody over there. Jesus. See, you even know it, but you still won't do anything about it. That's fucking laziness. No. You work fucking 40 hours. You got plenty of time to straighten up. Or just fucking hire a maid service, man. You make you you got some dough. You don't have any fucking kids. I'll clean it when I'm It's like I said, it's... You, you know what would work for that place? Yeah. A stick of dynamite. <laughs> then you'll be good to go. All right, I'm going to drive. Turn this fucking thing off. He says I'm... I can't... I can't he even. says I'm heavily, heavily... Le Leonard got to go to the chiropractor today since his accident. And what the fuck? The chiropractor couldn't crack you or nothing? No, and I also pride the fact that he said I'm heavily muscled. As he was... Working on my upper back and traps, heavily muscled. Did you hear that, Dale? Oh, for fuck. Oh, by the way, looks like the guy <clears throat> in the Domino's Pizza commercial. You see, they're playing my music from the 2015 Ruby. Cause I'm gonna keep on loving you. You saw the commercial? 
No, Domino's I didn't. Domino's Pizza, they're playing Sorry. my peasant song. And there's a guy named so Glenn with a red... keep on yeah. fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> there's a guy named Glenn in a red pickup that looks like Dale and is built like Dale. Check it out. Dale, I call Dale Chunky Cheese Chance now. <laughs> Not Chucky. <laughs> it's chunky cheese, but he's you know he's bulking, and then he'll get shredded. Yeah, Dale was in the middle of bulking for his contest last year. Some kind of coaches you got, Dale? He's, I showed you the picture of his coaches. They're in pretty good shape. Yeah. Who's your fucking coach? You guys. <laughs> good luck, but you're definitely fucking losing. Jay Masters. <laughs> So who are you gonna say is your coach when you when they bring you on stage? I don't even know why the fuck we're talking about this. Last so much. year it's I said Jay eight Masters. months away, eight fucking yeah, months away. Yeah, but it'll be away. coming up quick. You guys got no excuse this year. You have plenty of time, uh, oh, more I had than an enough accident. time. You just had an accident, a legit one. I agree. There are no excuses. There'll be plenty of time to. We don't care about. All you cookie cutters will be laid up in your luxury apartments. I'm in my dump. Which I, that's a dump. That's a dump on it's a purpose. Complete understatement. That you people can't seem to understand. That's a dump on purpose. Because I, I want to look back and say, I don't ever want to live like this again. It's so nasty. I, I, would so I wouldn't even take a shit in there. It's so nasty. I, I, I warned you. I know. I know. I should have listened. Even I don't like taking a shit. But you know what? It reminds me <laughs> on a daily basis how low I am and how uh. how precise I have to be to get myself out and, and make myself something amazing, which I already am, but now the world has to know. And I'm talking in every facet of life, business, politics, bodybuilding, athletics, philosophy. I think bums live it. better than you. <laughs> Holy fuck. Well, the difference there's between, no excuse for that, Leonard. Do you there make is an excuse, there's, no, a there's a reason no. for it. Okay. There's a reason for You're it. You're fat and lazy. No, my priorities are elsewhere. Because I'm not the average cookie cutter. Well, we all know that. Na for sure. Matter no. of fact, if I brought a girl over and she, I could tell she really loved me because if she saw that dump, she wouldn't, she'd overlook that. You know There's what I mean? no, I don't give a fuck. No woman would overlook that. No fucking chance. You'd be surprised. Yeah, I probably would be surprised. There are some nasty bitches out there that live the same, actually. I've seen some nasty fucking homes. You're right. You're actually right. You can get one of those. Bra you ha you were married at one time. Was it, is, is that, was it that disgusting? Well, it did where, did, where did this cunt hit you? Right over here, right? Yeah, she was pulling out of there. I was on the sidewalk, and she slapped, smashed me in the middle of the road. How the fuck did she not see your fat ass? She's a fucking liar. Well, what did she say? You pulled out in front of her? She says, first thing she says as soon as the cop gets out, he hit me. Yeah, bicycles hit cars. Oh, I know. That's great. <laughs> That's great. You probably did do some damage to her piece of shit. Yeah, because she tried to lie and then say that she was hit on the side by me. And I was like, look at the very front of it. It's all smashed up. Scratched <laughs> to hell. I know. I told Dale, and he said, how was the car? <laughs> yeah, she's a little liar. A little... Well, of course, she's got to try to lie to get out of it. Well, I can't wait to step for that tapes on there. Did you see Miss Universe the other night? No. Haitian came in second. It's pretty nice. Tall. Does she have a dick? Look like it. Do they let transgenders in there? It wouldn't surprise me. They look, it's all of them look like one. <clears throat> all Miss Universes look like trannies. Pretty much. Some of the hot ones, yeah. What the fuck? What kind of demented statement is that? It's true. The ones I've seen, they're too good looking. You're a straight, if deranged fuck. I, I could tell that that you getting hit by a car didn't knock any fucking sense into you. That's for shit sure. Jeez. <laughs> You're fucking more deranged than ever, I think. That's what they said about Rasputin. And I'm the modern day Rasputin. Uh, modern day Tom Platts of abs, too. Right? <laughs> Shit. No, I feel great. I'm, I'm glad you're here because I wanted to tell you that there's somebody that has a more disgusting house than yours, <laughs> and he's standing right there. <laughs> I went into that just fucking dungeon the this morning. The two biggest non-cookie cutters, the two biggest freaks, 
live exactly alike. I'm like you cookie cutters. I'm like fucking right, Jason, we're worried about eating, sleeping, and growing. How many people get to be on the ra on the live news station with Greg Valentino? That wanted to be by Valentino. He's like bigger than. You're more popular than Phil Heath. Yeah. Oh sure. He is. Who the fuck is Greg Valentino anyway? The guy with the. You ever seen the documentary? He had the tattoos. Short Italian guy, but the big used to scent all his arms up with oil. Why the? Who, who the <laughs> fuck cares about him? Well, he's kind of vulgar. But he's on that bigger, faster, stronger documentary. Oh, you is he? That? I saw that. Remember him talking about? Maybe I gotta look at it again. It's been a long time. He was just talking about you know Arnold and that, and Arnold's full of shit. Remember that the short guy he's eating steak you know, at that restaurant. You know, Profit Muscles is hitting on Arnold now. I heard. Yeah. He's trying to talk a mad shit. He was on all that shit. Profit got his Muscles mate. like the black version of you. <laughs> the fucking douchebag too. He's a, he's a all cookie these, cutter. Yeah, he's, all these fitness guys are fucking douchebags. They're all full of shit. Well, how many people? I said it before, and I'll say it again. I, I, They're all full of shit. Yeah, I'm trying to set up a. You're the only one that's not full of shit, and they want I'm to hate on I'm you. trying to. I'm trying to get an email with Sylvester Sloan to do a workout video with him. I'm trying, I'm trying to set it up. He doesn't even let his help look at him or talk to no, him. No, no, his email. He's a dick. His email. He actually has to lower cat. himself to go to Sylvester Sloan because he's bigger than Sloan. Yeah, I am in certain ways. I think you probably are as big as him. He's fucking 70 years old, though. Physically and mentally. I think Jace would be a better actor. Better. I think you would too. Yeah, it's a better. Holy fuck! Those pain med meds are really. I guarantee in, huh? within ten years, Jason will be in a top-rated movie. He'll be. How much you want? How much you want to bet? Action movie. I bet. I'll ten bet. years, possibly. I'll bet how within ten bet? years. You know how why? Because Jason wants it. I want. 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 I do want. You what? I do want to be in the top right That's great. I do. Wanting it and doing it are two I'm gonna different do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I'm determined. I, I hope you do. I'm the, I hope you do, I'm but I highly right. doubt it. I'm You're wrong. You know, how, you know how I am. I'm You're a negative, man. I'm a negative. A negative right. asshole. I believe, right, shit, I believe shit when I see it. It's not about being negative. You're negative. I believe it when I see it. You're negative. You just blow smoke it's up people's asses. just like Arnold said. When you get kicked down, you got to get up. That's it. Set your goals. Set your goals high. This is truly inspirational. Anybody knew it, a, a bodybuilder would be the top rated movie star and a governor? Because he said he as was his goal. Nobody so he believed him. And he was him. a fucking immigrant, too. Nobody yeah. believed him either. And he still can't speak the language properly. Believe that shit? Oh, he's going to so be that, Just because he can do it means anybody can. Anybody, do it. anybody can. It's right. possible. Yeah. Well, anything's possible. That's right. Anything's possible. Listen, I want to tell you something. Um, to two, you need brain transplant. For, for my birthday, I'm getting a bunch of Cohiba cigars, really nice ones. We're going to smoke those joints. Let's smoke them. Yeah, smoke them, puff them. That's right. And I'll I'm put getting, something better and I, in those and I'm, get, and I'm getting a nice watch, a nice watch, a nice gift. And I'm getting, uh, um, by the way, for a couple of days. Why don't you get Lenny's teeth For a couple of days, me and Lenny and a fan are getting. Uh, are going to suck get, each other off. No, we're getting. A, a fan is getting a car. For me to drive for YouTube to promote for their company, oh, and I want to, and I am inviting you and Brad to drive a Bentley. The delusion please, is please, strong with this. Please one. let it be a convertible. Well, since I'm the only one that has a legitimate license, please I think let I'll it be, be a convertible. No, I'm driving. You can drive the down the avenue in Lauderdale, Miami Beach. I'm driving with you outside of a parking lot. I want to see Brad driving Miami Beach. We'll videotape it. And me and Jason have our big guns sitting in the back with a couple of women. Yeah, that's and a the great Bentley. idea. With the Bentley. That's, that's an incredible yeah. idea. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to drive the Bentley. You're coming with me. I'd love to. Yeah, with a bunch of bitches. Yes. We'll pick up bitches in a Bentley, definitely. Yes. Definitely they'll be rolling down to 500000 They'll be crawling to get in that Bentley. <laughs> no bitches or even trannies for that matter will jump in the car. And a Bentley? Yes, they will. The way that you can no, the way I'm right now. The way I'm dressed in my tuxedo with my, my, my $5,000 watch with my Cuban, they're going to jump. In, baby, because yeah, okay. I'll know I have money. And what, do you, and what are you gonna get out of them? Nothing. Yes, I'm gonna, no game. I'm gonna pay them. And then when you bring them back to your shithole, and he brings them back to their shithole, they're gonna want to commit suicide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay three thousand dollars to have a night with me. All right, good luck with that. Money talk, bullshit walk. Exactly. That's a lot of bullshit. I'm glad I wore my boots today. Hey, Nimrod, where are we going since you're on a special diet? Duffy's is right. Oh, you can eat something clean there? Yeah, chicken. Alright. We gotta hurry up though. Stop thinking around. Standing in the middle of the road. God, what a perfect day. Perfect day to keep your fucking shirt on, you pig. And why are you walking in the middle of the goddamn road, man? 
God damn it, pig. We're like the, th we're like the three it, fucking pig. stooges right here. I'm Mo. Here's Larry. God and there's fucking Cur there's Curly. I'm going to slap the shit out of both of you. <laughs> Holy fuck. Isn't your car the other way, asshole? Yeah. Your car's all Go get like in your car. We'll meet you over, we'll meet you over at Duffy's. Hurry up. That's right. They catered right? every Jason. Yeah, we got, we got free shit because of him. Thanks. Thanks, shit lord. What, what Bird, I think Jason, your car's over here. Isn't this your shit? Look at you. Uh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> it's, maybe it's the attorney. Just wander around aimlessly. How could you miss that piece of shit? I know. I, I, that's right. I, you were going towards the Bentley, right? Hello? Yeah, the Bentley is mine. <laughs> Yes. Next one picture. Start, let's start filming, but start breaking all the rules. What are you talking about? What are you... I hope that thick-legged Spanish waitress is in here. <laughs> nice and thick. Why? What are you going to do? I'd like to have her spread her legs on a table oh, and just eat my meals right off her body. <laughs> and I always like grapes or cherries eating out of her orifices. is always fun. Oh, boy. This is what happens when you're delusional. <laughs> Oops, I almost dropped this fucking thing. Get this stupid Duffy's thing. Freak Show. Yeah, here we come. 320. How about 420? That's your goal weight, 420. That is a good goal. I've been there before, and I actually like the feel because I felt indestructible. Then they can name a weed after you if you get to 420 pounds. <laughs> the weed man. Lenny, some Lenny Kush.